Alrighty, hey guys, it is Mitch Games 24 7 here today with another video for you guys, and today what we have is Revelations Round 60. That's right, so you're going to be seeing the full Round 60, which is around 5 minutes, one of the longer rounds, and I'm not sure how well this training spot is, but I got there in a Round 60 in just over 3 hours, which is pretty freaking quick, I think. Now, unfortunately, I actually switched controllers, so I actually, one of my controllers went flat, and I put in my other one, and it turns out that logs you out of PS4, which is all well and dandy, but it made me dashboard the fucking game. So, round 61, rip me, I accidentally dashboarded. Um, didn't think that was actually a thing, you know, I was trying to go for round 100, I was pretty, pretty certain I'd actually get it. But, um, you know, um, fate thought otherwise, you know, so I, I really fucked myself over there and, um, you know, really ruined the night with that one. But, um, you know, I got 60 recorded, so that that's all fine, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm actually getting NBN in the next couple days, so Friday I should be getting that in, which should increase my upload to a 2 to a 5. That's, that's what they were saying, so that should be good. Hopefully I can stream on that. I'll definitely be testing it out. If I can stream on a... Like, pretty good quality. I'll definitely be streaming it. I'll go for another run, either tomorrow night or Friday. Seriously, I, I want to do it tomorrow just so I can get on the board again. But, um, I don't really want to, you know, go through all that pain and suffering again. So, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I'll probably just enjoy the map with, like, friends tomorrow. But, you know, um, Friday, if I've got good enough net, I'll definitely be streaming the, the damn thing. So, definitely come in, check us out. You know, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe so you get to see it. I get high rounds. Really quickly as DLC comes out, like this is only the second day, and seriously, well, it's still technically the first day. The map pack actually hasn't been out for 24 hours yet, and I I had work all day, so I just got home and did this. You know, I, I just googled how to upgrade the apothecary and server, and then bam, hit this gameplay out. So that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, that that's that's basically it. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on the video. The like button is there for a reason, so let's smash it. Let's try and smash 10 likes as I've been smashing so often lately, which is fantastic. Actually, I'd just like to thank everyone who viewed my um, one of my most recent videos. It's got like 400 and something views, like absolutely nuts for my channel, and it's boosted my channel a lot. I'm at 408 subscribers at the moment, I believe, so I just hit 400, and I'm already 8 subscribers in, so who knows, could be hitting 500 sooner rather than later, which would be fantastic to see. Seriously, that'd honestly make my day hitting 500. Personal goal of mine, and then 1k, that's the big goal. Will we ever hit it? I don't know, but you know, it could happen one day. So I'm just going to run you down through the strategy now. So the strategy is pretty simple, you know, you come to NARC, train here, obviously a lot of people think NARC's a pretty shitty spot, but it's very quick, and that's why I like it. Now you just want to use the, um, the upgraded Apothic and Servant and the Zeus Cannon, you use these things, you're pretty much, you're pretty much set, you know, they go hand in hand together, you'll never run out of ammo. When the Marguas and Panzers do spawn, Panzers, you can honestly just stay here and kill them, just spam them with the Zeus Cannon. Same thing with the Magua, but the Magua you'll want to run back to spawn and just play it safe, you know, try and keep it just from the Magua because they can one-shot you, I'm pretty sure. Um, I got downed earlier on from a Magua and I don't know how it happened, but um, I think they like poisoned me or something. But something happened and it downed me, so do be very cautious with the Maguas. You'll also want to build the shield to the right in that room there, so yeah, where the cabinet used to be in World at War. And yeah, that, that's that's the basis of the strategy. It's a pretty decent strategy in my opinion. You'll also get the Ragnaroks from the box, which is a bit different, and I suggest using them. Little Arnies are also helpful too. Now, I want to know what you guys' thoughts are on this map, because I think this map's bloody excellent. I think it's brilliant. Like, you know, it's really easy, quick to get through rounds, which personally I like. That's my favourite thing about the map. But just having all the other maps in there is quite cool. There's so much content to do, and it seems very fresh, original, and, you know, like... I don't know, it, it still seems fresh and original, despite being like parts of other maps, so, you know, there's that, and they've j just, the way they've made this map is brilliant, it's it's a good way to send off zombies in my opinion, I, I definitely think that, you know, this is probably going to be the the uh, high point of Black Ops 3 zombies, and just zombies in general, really, like, you know, this map is perfected, like, seriously, it's so well crafted, um, it's obviously no mob of the dead or origins, those, those maps are just, you know, yeah, they're just the shit, you know, that they, they are the staple of zombies, like, you know, they, they were so unique, they had their own setting, um, they introduced so much into the story, whereas this kind of just wraps it all up, as of the time of recording, actually, I don't think anyone's found the easter egg, all the staffs, so, um, rumour has it they're staffs, so, you know, maybe there is, maybe there isn't, I don't really know, um, I, I won't use them anyways, to be honest, unless they're OP as all fuck, because honestly, you got the Apothecan Servant and the Zeus Cannon, like, these things are just... Absolutely amazing for high rounds. So yeah, there's there's honestly that and 
it's just awesome to see all the content in this map. So that has been the video. It's pretty much wrapped up now. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. Anyways, this has been Mitch Games 24-7. I'll see you guys in another video.